Well, hello there again, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Grab your cup of coffee and a seat because I'm Polly and this is Polly's Power Hour. So you'll notice we're here in the garage. Kit's here. Hood's not up. He's not in the air. We have an unboxing. I got stuff. I'm excited about this because contrary to popular belief, I'm more or less trying to be a very organized person. Uh, you know, and especially with my toolbox. Now, with my toolbox here, uh, this, this part, this part, and the bottom part are the first toolboxes I ever bought. And then I bought this middle piece to expand it once upon a time. And then I bought this little guy. And then my, my plan was to make a, a, a similar box, different size. Now, the problem with this is nowadays there's much better boxes. But these boxes are they're great. I mean, the drawers still work. But they're kind of full. They're not as optimized, or I haven't optimized the organization as I could have for certain things. So enter a veteran-owned company, and I'm a veteran, so I'll support a veteran-owned company. A veteran-owned company called Toolbox Widget. Now, I bought a couple of the wrench organizers on a whim for work for the shop because I had wrenches all over the place. So I bought one pack and I, I'll tell you, I like them. So let's do this unboxing here and see what we got. So first glance, box came to me in pretty decent shape, very fast service. I, on a whim, bought this stuff, ordered it on Friday and right now it's Monday. So it got here actually over the weekend, which I was really impressed with via USPS. The box is a little beat up but it's got some weight to it, but that's just USPS for you. What are you going to say, you know? Always breaking stuff. All right. All right, so we got modular screwdriver organizers. Look at those. Oh, look at that picture. Man, that would be heaven to have all those screwdrivers in a drawer. Oof. And so I actually counted how many wrenches I have in all my drawers. And I multiplied that number by, or divided that number by, I want to say 15. I think 15 are in here. Yep, holds 15 wrenches. Oh, and then check these out. I thought this was pretty cool. It's got like a little scrubby, it's called a knuckle scrubber. It's got a little scrubby here, and then it's like a bar of soap. So I figure, eh, why not? I got two of those. I needed to get to over $150 to get free shipping, which is another thing that impresses me, that it was $150, or I spent $158 something. I don't know if there's an invoice in here. But I got free shipping, and the stuff got here in, like, record time. I didn't think I was going to see this stuff till like, Wednesday or Thursday. Yep, two, two, and five. Doesn't tell me how much I spent though. Oh, no way. I got stickers. Ho, ho, ho. Check these out. Warning. Don't ask to borrow my tools and I won't ask to borrow your girlfriend. Ooh, okay. That's not. That, that'll get you in trouble. Serious injury or death may result if you touch my tools. Okay, so this one's going to stay here at the house. And this one is going to go on my tool cart at work because this is definitely a work related type sticker that I can get away with. I know I'm trying to be more PC, sort of, kind of, not really. So that's it. Really nicely packaged. Um, each box, each thing comes in its own individual box. Really impressed. So let's look at, we're going to start with my wrenches because I've been itching to organize these wrenches. So, all right, so there's one drawer. I got these little guys here. So these are my regular wrenches, 
And then I've got my ratcheting wrenches here and my stubby ratcheting wrenches for standard and metric, my line wrenches, and a bunch of special little things here and there. And down here, I've got my double-ended extended reach metric and standard ratcheting wrenches for like newer cars and stuff. So, yeah. So let's unbox these and see what we got here. So each thing, the thing I like about these is they're magnetic, right? And then the wrench lays in there, boom, 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 which takes it from laying horizontally and makes it lay vertically or stand up vertically. I did, when I bought the ones for the shop, do a test. And these things do fit, and the drawer closes. So that's good. So let's go ahead. We're going to move. That was loud. All right. Oh, my. Right. So we'll start with three quarters. Three quarters if you're Hawaiian. Look, all of those now they're standing up like this. Isn't that awesome? All right, so I need one more. So we'll take one more off of here. Bada bing. We'll put one more here. Bada bing. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, fancy. Oh, so fancy. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my wrenches here. And we're going to go and see about the screwdrivers after this. So, you know, 2023, it's all about growth and change and prosper and all that crap, right? So here's how this is going to work from now on. So... These used to be my wrench drawers. Uh, metric and standard regular, metric and standard ratcheting, and then my stubbies, line wrenches, all that crap, right? So, not anymore. So, what I did was, ta da! This is all my standard wrenches regular, ratcheting, stubbies, line, crow's feet, detail, little ignition wrenches. I close this. Open this one, bada bing, metric, regular, ratcheting, excuse me, stubbies, line, uh, crow's feet, ignition wrenches, and this one little outlayer, he's probably going to go in another drawer, but it's messing with my organization. So yeah, check that out. And then my big wrenches are up here, my Orion uh, long ratcheting wrenches are up here still. So that all fits fairly nicely. And then everything that was in here uh, went in here. It's a little crowded, but that's okay. I'd really like to find another three drawer box this size, but good luck. I'm pretty sure Home Depot stopped making this brand years ago, but whatever. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Everything's easy to find. Boom. This one's still empty. I'm going to find something to put in there shortly. But yeah, so now I'm going to turn my attention to my screwdrivers. So the screwdriver organizer is very similar to the wrench organizer, as you'll see. But you got these little spacers, and I'm assuming these little spacers are there for um, handles. As you can see, they want to line them up like that. What I want to try and do, now my freaking drawer here is a mess but what i'd really like to do is line them up like this where each handle is offset so i'm going to give that a try and see what happens uh the toolbox has seen a lot of change uh, as a matter of fact those of you that have worked with me here before this is now my socket drawer this was like my diagnostics drawer All right this is now my everything you need diagnostics drawer my timing light obd scanner um Meter, leads, back probes, fuel to, uh, fuel pump relay bypasses, test lights, all that stuff goes in here. Even over here, like, 
there's this stuff in here now. This is like oil change stuff and suspension stuff, uh, line stuff, hose tools. This drawer, I'm not, this is a mess. Don't even look at this yet. I'm working on that. Uh, let's see, that was that drawer. Now, this is my bodywork drawer. This used to be my air tool drawer. But now, this is all my bodywork stuff files, hammers, dollies, uh, sanding blocks, sanding bars, everything. Even my Bondo chemicals, everything are in here now. Decks of cards for painting wheels. I'll show you that one later. Down here is my hammers and my half drive uh, impact sockets. Pumps, bearing packer, breaker bar. I got to figure out a better place for the breaker bars. I'm working on that now. And the very, very, very bottom drawer is all the air tools. So there we go. Just trying to be more organized. Unless I put something, another box on top of here, it's obviously not going to be a task force. So it's not going to match exactly, which might bug me a little bit, but. I don't know. I just can't see spending all that money on a new giant box when this box is here and it works perfectly fine if I just get off my butt and put a little organization into it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on these screwdriver holders. And oh yeah, I got two of them. Got two of them bad boys. So we're going to see what we can come up with. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. This is what I came up with for now. It's not 100% perfect, but I think I like it. All right, so screwdrivers, nice, organized. The important thing here is that when you open and close the drawer, the screwdrivers don't brrr, clatter around and go everywhere, right? Now they're nice and secure. When I open the drawer, Ace Ventura, anybody? No? All right, whatever. Uh, so yeah, screwdrivers stay where they're supposed to stay. Outstanding. I also moved, my pliers used to be stuffed in this tiny little drawer right here. And now that's my um, drill bits and uh, bolt extractors and stuff like that. But I did move my pliers down here and I did get a nice pliers organizer. I did that one a while ago. Um, this one was actually off of Amazon. But Tool Widget has a... Um, pliers organizer and actually what I really like to do is maybe move my pliers down to like this drawer so I can have the full length full shebang for everything but I mean they fit in here pretty decently and they look a lot better than they did that's what's important all right so the wrenches here's what I decided on here are all of my standard wrenches regular metric or uh, regular ratcheting stubbies line Crow's feet. Boom. Metrics. My biggins. And then uh, what didn't fit were my drivers. They didn't fit in the screwdriver drawer again. So they're here right now. Until I find something else, I'll find something better. Oh, no, yet. But, yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm going to do a video about these. The snap-on torque wrench. I have a matching one over there. It's uh, really interesting where they came from. Hint, if I don't leave them in this drawer, they'll glow at night. But, yeah, so check that out. I like that. That turned out a lot better than I thought. So, tool widget. Give them a check out. I'll uh I'll post the video or the link down in the description. Um, I dig it, man. I I can't complain. I've spent I mean just the organization alone and the fact that wrenches because I I have my wrenches just flat like boom boom like this. And I'll tell you, like the wrenches just flew everywhere all the time, and it was really annoying. But now they they stay put. And it's pretty darn amazing, if I do say so myself. I dig it. I dig it a lot. So, very happy with how that turned out. All right. So, that's going to do it for this one. Real quick, real easy. A little unboxing, a little review, a little use. 
show you how to practically use them. I dig it. They turn out really well. Really, really well. So, like, comment, subscribe. Give Tool Widget a, uh, a look for all of your toolbox organizing needs. They're handy. And uh, that's it. You guys keep it between the ditches and you come back and see me.